All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Class of 2020 Car Parade. What a beautiful day for a parade. My name is Evan Bishop, the principal here at the high school, and I am joined with the rest of the administration, Josh Hanna, the assistant principal, Rich Cormier, our athletic director, and Justin Pominville, our other assistant principals. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Fantastic. Great day for the parade, Evan. Excellent. So <laughs> we have our 294 graduates that'll be coming through here today on the parade. Office of Powers is setting us off here and leading the way. As you can see, he has all of the names of the graduates on his car, which is awesome. We have Chief Lee also driving by. I know you can't see it here on camera, but we have a giant group of high school staff that is here to celebrate the seniors on this wonderful day. So just a little bit of thank yous before we start as everyone is driving by us here. I wanna thank the class officers Hannah Ionelli, Drew Rancatori, Joe Wang, and Bobby McGuire, as well as Jay Golden and Mark Sanborn, who helped put this all together. They do a wonderful job. I want to thank the parents, in particular, Marie Boyle and Beth DeLeva, for helping to organize and decorate the parade route. The parade route today, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are listening at home who want to come out, the students are going to be taking it right onto Hayden Rose Street, a left onto Chestnut, a left onto Ash Street, left onto Maine, bear right onto Wood Street left onto Elm, left onto West Main, right onto Pleasant, and then back again through the high school. So that's a little bit about the route. Now we're gonna talk about our amazing students. Gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about the class of 2020. What sticks out to you about this great group? I think that across the board, it's just excellence. I mean, whether you talk about the athletic accomplishments, we had seven TVL champs, a lot of all-stars, but in the arts and the music across the board, just fantastic achievements for the entire group. And I'll tell you what, Pat Barnes is driving by with maybe the best car so far, these decorations. <laughs> Wonderful. And he's got his Patriots banner. Yeah. We also want to... second on the car right right now with the Ionellis. Yeah. Here comes Hannah Ionelli, class vice president. Wonderful car here. We just want to also take a second to thank WMRC for carrying the feed here today. I know our graduates and our staff and our community really appreciate it. And of course, we want to thank HCAM Ed. And we're live on the YouTube feed. Hopefully, you're all listening. Congratulations. Yeah. We got Eric Davis Obviously, not back. the way that this class wanted to go out, but a nice day for a parade here. Jack Breslin going to be flying us one day in a plane. <laughs> We're going to miss him, Matt Epstein. When he's on the PGA Tour, he's going to look us up. Yeah. Welcome back from Florida. Future Masters winner, man. Future Masters. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> phenomenal athlete. Tommy, Drew Rankatori, class president. Wonderful star athlete. Awesome. Congratulations, Austin. So, Mr. Hanna, what stands out about the class of 2020 to you as they're driving by us here today? I think you can see it in the decorations that they put on. Uh, in their cars, it's an enthusiasm for Hopkinton High School. Uh, not only has this class achieved yeah. academically and athletically, but they clearly love Hopkinton High School. And, and uh, if HKM has a chance towards the end of this broadcast, their senior gift is out in front of our school. It's a beautiful uh, granite sign with the Hopkinton H on it. Absolutely top notch, and no surprise that a class like this would leave a gift that everyone will enjoy for, for many, many years to come. So I think the class of 2020, when you think about them, they identify with Hill of Pride. And we're excited for them. Uh, off to their next chapter. And it's amazing Absolutely. to see all the flags of all the wonderful schools these students are going to. We have LSU coming by. We got a national parade, champ LSU flag. Go Tigers. Schools. Mr. Palmerville, would you mind talking a little bit about the other uh, part of the class gift? Yep, so the other part of the class gift is a $1,000 donation to the Metro West Emergency Relief Fund, which supports nonprofits and addresses the most immediate needs for those experiencing significant financial challenges during this closure and really helping various communities during emergencies, which kind of speaks to the class in general. This is a very thoughtful and inclusive group that look to assist not just people in our community but elsewhere. So it's really exciting and kind of in keeping with uh, what they are as a class. No question. Woo! Michael Juicy, congratulations. I tell you, I've never seen anything quite like this, you guys. I mean, we're talking about 300 cars. Congrats, Abby. Woo! Decorated kids. It's really nice to see the parents with the kids, too. I feel like, you know, it, it's bringing a, a bit of a family component into this. Congratulations, Allison. Woo! Celebration, which is uh, very nice to see. That's a great point, Mr. Hannah. I, I almost feel like the parents are as excited, if not more, than some of the students <laughs> when they're coming in here. Um, and it's just a lot of fun being able to 
to congratulate this group. It's an amazing group of students. It's one of our favorite classes that we've ever had. Uh, Tim Fargiano, the valedictorian, driving by, heading off to Harvard. Uh, just such a talented group, passionate group. Luke McDonald, the president of the student council, also the 2020 award winner. Really an impressive young man. This class is going to leave quite a legacy as they, as they leave HHS. And it's not over. This car parade is just one piece of their graduation. Yeah. We are planning an in-person graduation ceremony. Yes, the Rogers twins, congratulations on August 2nd. It'll be an in-person graduation on our football field, most likely outside. More details to be determined. Alex Barkerhook, great baseball player, <laughs> wonderful Schema young man. Right <laughs> Nick Schema, excellent soccer player. And again, I wish you could see the amount of staff that we have here. It's amazing, the support, and I know that as part of this parade route, we are driving by all the different schools within the district. Center School, Marathon School, Elmwood School, Hopkins in the Middle School, and I know that there's staff at each one of those buildings that'll be awaiting these graduates as they drive by, which just shows how much of an impact they have had on all of the students. Congratulations, Pat. Kevin, to kind of go about this, the, the special sauce, so to speak, within Hopkins, it starts with the fact that they're not district. These kids have spent the last 13 years together growing, moving from school to school, whereas a lot of towns this size end up having, you know, neighborhood schools, and then they all don't get together until fifth or sixth grade. And I think when you see how close you can eat the, the, um, the community is, uh, it, it's a result of having been together for so long. Yeah, that's a great point. And this group certainly, whoa, revving the engines, Chris Barnes, certainly uh, exemplifies that togetherness. A very inclusive group, very passionate group, very supportive group, and like we said, one we're going to miss very much. As someone who's new to Hopkinton, this group has really separated themselves from me in just a short couple of months. The way they support one another at their athletic events, and just what a great group of leaders this class has really shown to be, particularly throughout this pandemic. And this doesn't happen by chance. I mean, the amount of work sir. that the class officers did in organizing all of this, speaking with the parents, class parents have been fantastic, and just putting this all together and getting the information to make sure the whole town was out for this, and it was a really special event for a really special group. No yep. question. Oh, go ahead, Mr. No, no, I mean, and one of the interesting things, you know, we talked about the pandemic, and obviously it's interrupted all of our lives the last three months or so, and um, with so many of our students going on to study in the research fields and in the bio fields, and you know, I honestly, I have such confidence for the world that we live in with this type of quality learner heading off and taking on the challenges that exist. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations. So, you know, as we see these kids smiling and, you know, we know the world has a lot of work in front of us. Congratulations. QB1. <laughs> um, Go Irish. We know we're in good hands here. Congratulations, Megan. This is yeah. great. You can see, you know, I imagine that from teenagers. Sean Walsh, awesome hockey player right there. Um, how much loss they've had, and to see these smiles, genuine smiles and happiness about being back together and celebrating, it certainly yeah. makes me feel good. And their yeah. spirit never wavered during this entire time. It's been really impressive to see that, because they would have had a lot to complain about, but they chose to take a different route and just do what they usually do, which is just step up to the plate and have just fantastic events. Absolutely, and they've been, and, and, and to your points, uh, very well said, they've been, they've had such a great attitude and they've been a lot of uh, a big part of the decision making process, right? We brought them in on different surveys and we wanted the students to have a voice in all of this. And, you know, they really wanted to put together this car parade and, and make it fun. And you can see if you're on the parade route right now or here at the high school, they have really taken it to the next notch with some of the decorations. Uh, they really believed in this and wanted to celebrate together. Uh, and again, we're going to hope to celebrate again in August. Fingers crossed on that. Excellent. Jill Cedia, congratulations. Wonderful softball player. Bailey Simmons is going on to nursing school at UVM. Congratulations. These cars are so impressive. The amount of work that went into decorating these cars. This is awesome. And I'll tell you, when we were looking at the forecast earlier this week, it wasn't looking so good. And we felt, oh boy, <laughs> the class of 2020 is going to, unfortunately, going to happen to it again. But what a beautiful day today. This couldn't be a better day for a parade. A lot of convertibles, so I'm sure they're happy that the, the weather in particular is, they is were beautiful. They some good news. So good it's news. Nice this happened like this. Yeah, convertibles, Jeeps, you name it. Great decorations. 
Um, that's it. <laughs> People yeah. are excited. The other thing I've noticed, a lot of dogs. A lot of yeah. dogs making an appearance in some of the cards, which is Old just excellent. Experience. We have Ellis Spar, <laughs> wonderful young man. Congratulations to him. And the Southern Cal. Congratulations. <laughs> 3,000 miles away, probably more than that, actually. Fun fact for the team here and yes. for the listeners, 25 years ago, I graduated from Hopkinton High School this same week. Uh, far smaller class, 66 kids. Ooh, yeah, just a little and bit. We just were a out little on bit. the football field. Congratulations. Uh, we didn't have a parade like this, and I tell you, this could be something we continue to bring back. Uh, this is pretty fun. I, 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 I hear that, Mr. Hanna. This is a wonderful, this could be a new tradition that we start. You know, if you're going to look for some of the silver linings through this pandemic, that could be one of them. I think this is a, a really nice so far tradition, and it looks like the staff and the students are really enjoying the, the afternoon so far. Huge shout out to the HPD for helping keep it safe as well. I mean, logistically, I'm picturing from their perspective, this isn't something that happens uh, really ever. And so to have 300 cars touring the yeah. community, shutting down the main causeway, which already, for those of you who live in town, you know, it's kind of a nightmare getting yeah. through downtown. Uh, but you know, that's again, this is what this town does, does things for kids, cares for kids, wants them to have a great experience, a safe experience, and, um, that's why our schools succeed, you know, because people care at this level. Yeah, you're doing a great point. Just coming by. I tell you, I'm really, I don't have the mic anymore. That's all right. I'm going to give it back to you, Mr. Hanna. I'm really getting <laughs> you're, on, you're on a roll here. We're I'm gonna in keep the looking. market uh, for a new ride, I want to yep. tell you. And I'm looking at some of these cars that are coming by. And man, we got some serious style in hockey. <laughs> no quite. I mean, yeah, absolutely. A lot of you know. My list is growing now. <laughs> Your wallet might need to grow a little bit, too. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, just like to take a quick second. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Josh Hanna, one of our assistant principals, has uh, been named the principal of Franklin High School. I want to congratulate him. Really happy for him. Uh, huge shoes to fill here at HHS. He'll leave a, a tremendous legacy. He's been wonderful to work with. We just want to wish him congratulations here today as well. True. It's Zach and Drew, two of the uh, two of the star football players this past season. As, as the students are driving by, you just can remember how talented this group. It's this. I know we've talked about some of their athletic accomplishments, but just uh, the amount of students that are involved in our drama productions and some of our amazing performances throughout the course of the year, and the amount of kids who are in band in this class, particularly our jazz band. It's it, to me that the jazz band with this group of seniors really kind of pushed it up to the next level. It's, it's they're so enjoyable to listen to. In our student government, we have just a wonderful group of student council reps led by Luke McDonald as well as the class officers. So just a very well-rounded, talented group. And I'm also getting flashbacks as some of the students drive by of some of the Halloween costumes, a very big tradition here at HHS and some of the fun, some of the fun things that the kids dressed up in back in October. Yeah, they definitely made for a memorable one. It was a very creative group. Absolutely. Congratulations, Lenny Mick. It's the slowest I've seen her go. Usually she's burning up around the track. Congratulations. You know, I've always been told I have a face for radio here, so I'm finally, <laughs> finally living it up here. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, I wish you could, you know, for those listening on the radio, I wish you could feel the energy here. It's pretty special. It is a really... No, Mr. Excellent Mr. event here. was just talking about some of the amazing accomplishments, and mm. Linnea Pappas Byers just came by, and she was someone who made all state for music and also uh, was a senior district finalist and a, and a drama participant. So she had a lot of those accolades. And in this parade, we have a number of all stars, over 30 TVL all stars. We have eight young men and women that won MVP awards. We have some really, really accomplished athlete, athletes uh, in this group, about 20 of which will be playing uh, in college next year as well. Absolutely. And also, I, I, we have a number of kind of writing scholastic award winners in this group. Uh, I see a I, I used driving by. He's a BPA rock star. I went to California with him. Yes, we got Allie Bird, a wonderful Jeep athlete, the brother the hanging out the back. Several Jeeps coming also have some great yeah, artists, yeah, yeah. the Allens. Congratulations to them. Wonderful family. They have a dog that's looking to crawl out of the car here. <laughs> wonderful artist, Maddie Mezzet. Very accomplished. You know, I want to take a moment as we're looking down the street here and where the students are driving, we have our staff lined up cheering them on, so enthusiastic with great pom-poms. That's it, everyone's getting so excited. <laughs> and um, 
you know, when you think about our teaching staff and what they've gone through in the last two months to try to continue the teaching and learning here at the high school online, and uh, that's been really difficult, emotional, and for them to turn out tonight with such enthusiasm is another reminder of the care level that exists here at, here at the school. And one wonderful thing about this is as they leave here, obviously there's a lot of enthusiasm and energy seeing the staff, but as they go through town, that's not going to waver. Yeah, the streets are full of people who are really excited to celebrate this class. Yeah, I know. They'll be going down Wood Street at some point, heading towards Elmwood, and that's uh, that's where I grew up down there. So I know my sister and her kids and my uh, my two kids will be down there oh, excellent. getting ready, yep. waving, really excited <laughs> to root on the Hillers. Yep. You know, th those kids are still young enough to think Hiller athletes and, and Hiller performers are true professionals. Yeah. You know, we go to the play and they want to know why the tickets aren't more expensive. <laughs> Probably should be. <laughs> Mr. Cormier, are your children here today? Uh, they're actually not here today. Going on here. My, uh, my lovely <laughs> wife is here today, though, but yes. Yeah, I'm hoping my, my daughters also join in. Uh, they were a little sluggish this morning trying to get them out of the house. Hey, Megan. Congratulations. Megan Sullivan part of our student council and principal's cabinet. Congratulations, Morgan. Well, we I think everyone's just so excited to be out through. of their house, having a parade, yeah, waving. Absolutely. <laughs> just Give so good to see everybody. Something wonderful for everybody to do. Yeah. The Laymans. Laymans oh, the are coming Laymans. The Laymans are actually uh, one of seven sets of twins that we have in this That's class. That's right. That's right. Which Mr. Cormier and I can relate to. We're both having <laughs> yeah, twins. Right. Congratulations. The whole idea of creating fat heads for each other is so cool. I'm so jealous I didn't grow up in a time where something like that could have been created. You know, I mean, you talk about having fun and to what extent we'll go to celebrate our, you know, student success. And that's just a really cool thing to have. I mean, I don't know. Is, am I too old to create my own fat head right well, now? And, you no. know, hang it up. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, now, we know, we, well, now we know what to do for your going away gift. There you go. I just don't know if I'd want my head that big on something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be awkward when you drive into Franklin High with that on the top of yeah, your car. Exactly. <laughs> Got Nate Bertucci, Bessonet. Heck yeah, Hill of Pride, baby! Hill of Pride. He's excited. <laughs> Ashley hey. McDermott heading to Northeastern, another BPA star. It's Travis Congratulations. coming through. He's starting the basketball team this past season. Yep, Travis helped lead the boys' basketball team to the sectional finals. Got a great jump shot. John Carson. I really wish we could see what it's like out on the parade route. I feel like the uh, it's got to be amazing going through Hopkinton right now. Yeah, and I know that we talked about this a little bit before going on air. As we were driving to school here this morning, we all kind of took different ways to get here. And just seeing the community decorated and what the parents did to be able to do that was wonderful. <laughs> but the Sevos, Cam and Heather. Tremendous musicians, very talented. Jordan Chevery, unfortunately, didn't get to play her stop. Oh! We have money being shot at us. For those of you listening to the radio here, we'll be sure to donate that back to a good cause, of course. We got Andrew DeLeva going to Fairfield University. Got Allie Graber. Go Stags. We got Allie Graber also going to Fairfield. Yep. Greg Schaefer, congratulations. Just seeing the faces of the students, Brady Sheen going off to Syracuse, turning the corner, the smiles on their face. Oh. It's really pretty special. <laughs> Dave Stouse, congratulations. And so many of the Where graduates had their brothers and sisters the driving, which is Tommy just a Hamlet, tremendous to athlete. Former Hillers, hockey that are player, back. football player. Will we miss? Casey McLean. Wow. I'll tell you. You know, and you know, this class, it's great to have something happy right now because I know a lot of them are anxious about what the fall is going to look like. Uh, universities like UMass, where you have 25,000 undergrads, how are they going to, you know, create school uh, in a few short months with all of the restrictions? And we know that the state and, and the local levels are working really hard coming up with safe plans. Um, and we're excited to get back to work. It'll just be interesting to see how they experience freshman year. Like I imagine some of the orientations that would typically occur in late June might be getting, you know, postponed, et cetera. 
Oh, I would imagine, right? And mostly doing those online. And like you said, there's been a lot of conversations about what the fall is going to look like. Uh, I wish I could unveil <laughs> what it might be here in Hawkington for all the folks listening to. Unfortunately, we have quite a bit to still kind of figure out and want to make sure that we keep the health and safety paramount yes. for our students moving forward. We have a funny reference to a Halloween costume, one of our students. Um, but more details will be coming on that. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that need to be figured out and discussed at the state level uh, before we are able to re-enter school in September. Auburn. Claire Francis coming through. She's heading to Auburn. Claire Francis year. going to Auburn. Go Tigers. War Eagle, as War they Eagle. say. Yeah. Wow. It must be, Mr. Hannah, as you look at this, you mentioned it earlier, going from a class of 64, and these cars just keep coming. Oh. It, it must be something it, to it see this the transition in this community. Yeah, you know, it went from a small farm town where, you know, frankly, going to college, people would say, whoa, easy does it, who do you think you are, to <laughs> now, uh, you know, you look at where these kids are going, that's it. And uh, it's amazing. They're all over the country. They're all over the world. Um, a fun fact about Hopkinton High School, for international students who like to travel to the United States, in the country of Italy, Hopkinton is the second most popular school in the entire country to attend. Uh, we receive more applicants from the country of Italy to study here at Hopkinton. There's another high school out in Southern California, right near Laguna Beach, believe it or not, that's number one. Well, I, don't I, know, you know, I can't imagine can't why. Imagine, yeah, really. Okay, really. but Hopkinton, <laughs> quick number two. So we got it going on, gang. We do. You know what else has got it going on? Is this young man here, Steven Maffiori? Steven. Star athlete, principal award winner, great young man. Yeah. And I think that that, you know, Mr. Hannah's point, you know, he's he's a big part of that program. And obviously one of our other teachers, Mr. Longoria, we got Max Lakasha here going off to Michigan. Mrs. Lakasha was tremendous in putting together the slideshow for us that we sent Oregon. out to parents last night. Um, but there's a lot to be proud of here at HHS. Yeah. And I think this That's class nice of 2020 has led the way and has set the bar really high for classes to come after them. You know, it's a group like this that has that togetherness, that inclusivity, that passion, um, and that hill of pride and hill of spirit that we've talked about so much that makes this school such a special place. That and the amazing teachers that are lining up and down the road right here. And I know we've said this already, but some of these schools are just so impressive and all over the country. Uh, we just had an Oregon go by, Virginia Tech. I mean, it is very, very impressive where these students are off to next year. Yeah, I, I, every year I'm amazed at, at, at the the schools that kids are going to and, and what they're studying. I just feel when we were in high school, it, you pretty much stayed kind of around this area, right? And I think really people are kind of branching off, which is great to see. Kayla McCann going off to Northeastern. Congratulations to her. Alex. I was going to say that. I don't know locally where we all went to school for sure, but I think for the most part it was in the, uh, the Northeast. And I wonder, did any of you guys, if you could go back in time, would you, would you travel further to get your undergrad? Or would you stick around? I mean, I went pretty far to Framingham. Yeah. So that was like two or three towns away. It was pretty big news. That's a big uh, change but, for you, know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you would change and try to go somewhere else now. Well, I'll jump on this. I'd like to say that I would. Maybe, down, maybe to California, to Florida, but deep down I feel like my roots are here, my family's here, and my comfort level is here. But I'd like to think that I would take maybe a bigger risk. I went to Fairfield University. Uh, like I said, where Andrew DeLaver and, and Allie Grable will be going. Um, and I had a wonderful experience there, but it would have been nice to kind of have weather like this all the time. I don't know about you, Mr. Cormier or Mr. Yeah, Bonneville. I would, I would agree. I felt like I went really far away because I went to Boston. <laughs> so coming from a small town, that seemed like it was pretty far away. But uh, similar, I didn't want to leave uh, all my friends and family. But in hindsight, I would have loved to take four-year sabbatical to California. Mm -hmm. Maybe UC Santa Barbara, overlook the Pacific Ocean. Well, well, it sounds really nice. But we could try, is I could put in some paperwork to Dr. Cavanaugh to see if the four of us could do a sabbatical out there. Maybe check out that school that you talked about, Mr. Hanner, that might be beating us <laughs> when it comes to the international program. Steal some secrets there. Nice. Cars this is just keep wonderful. On coming. Oh, this is keep on moving right through. Mm. Absolutely. And it's great to see some of the siblings in the cars, too. Absolutely. I know we talked about how excited some of the parents look, but it's great to see some former Hillers 
either driving or in the back seat with their siblings who are graduating. It's really nice. And also some staff. We have Ms. Billiter, Mr. Graber, uh, a few staff members here who have seniors graduating. It's really, it's really nice to see all these folks, especially since we haven't been able to see many people lately. Right, we have the Congratulations. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're coming up on the end here. I think slowly. we are coming up Couple on the end left. slowly here. Tori Strain, tremendously talented young lady. So as we, we wrap up the, the parade route here at the high school, any closing, any last closing words, uh, Mr. Palmerville, we have for the class of 2020? You know, I just wish them the best of luck moving forward. They've been a tremendous, tremendous group for four years, right, really leading the school, right even when they were underclassmen, just uh, setting a really high bar, but doing it in the right way. So going to be uh, one that's sorely missed. Mr. Cormier? Yeah, same. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. I think the amount of pride they've shown and resiliency they've shown is only going to serve them well in the future, and uh, it's just been really impressive to watch and be a part of. And hey, Mr. Hanna. Sure. Uh, you know, 2020 will be a year many of us will never forget, or I should say none of us will ever forget. And uh, this class will hopefully go on to prove uh, to the world that they're ready to take on the challenges that are in front of them. And I hope that they take away from a day like this, looking at their teachers and the community at large, coming out, supporting them, showing them care, that they have the confidence to move forward and help make our world a better place. So much love to the class of 2020. Absolutely. Well said. Mr. Hanna, Mr. Cormier, Mr. Palmerville, thank you so much for joining me here today at, at the parade route. Um, 2020, the class is very special to me. Uh, it is a tremendous group that uh, I will compare every class that I work with to moving forward. That's how high of a bar they've set. I've really enjoyed getting to know them, watching them mature and grow, and um, we wish them all the best. Uh, and we look forward to our August 2nd in-person graduation ceremony where we'll have a stage, we'll have students hopefully walk across it, get a diploma. Those are things we're excited about. More details to come on that. But that's going to do it for us here at the high school. So for those of you who are listening, uh, there's going to be now a, a playlist that was put together by the class officers for the remainder of the parade. We hope you enjoy that. And again, thank you so much for listening to us babble here today. In Class of 20, we love you. We're going to miss you. Have a great day.